Saturn Probe enters grand finale. NASA's Cassini spacecraft has begun the final stage of its mission after nearly 20 years traveling in space. The Cassini spacecraft entered its grand finale orbits between Saturn's cloud tops and the planet's rings on April 26, 2017. According to NASA, Cassini survived its first dive between Saturn and its innermost rings, sending back never-before-seen images of the planet's atmosphere, including this hurricane. During the dives, Cassini will measure ice and other content in Saturn's rings and take measurements from the planet's rocky core. Cassini will enter its final orbit on September 15th, in which it is expected to destroy itself by flying directly into Saturn's atmosphere. The Cassini spacecraft was launched in October 1997 from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. It traveled 2.2 billion miles to reach Saturn. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Who knows what we'll find out there. China sets out deep space exploration plans. China on Tuesday published a white paper outlining the country's activities in space for the next half decade. The Chinese government plans to launch and land probes on Mars and the Moon by 2020. The lunar mission is set for 2018, and if successful, would see the first ever probe being landed on the far side of the Moon. China also plans on robotically exploring the Moon's poles. China's Mars mission is slated for 2020. China plans to send a lander, rover, and orbiter to Mars all in one go. There, China aims to collect samples from the planet and transport them to Earth by 2030. China also aims to explore an asteroid and the Jupiter system, with the latter mission expected to take place in the next 10 to 15 years. If any of these are successful, they have the potential to set the People's Republic of China on the path to becoming a space power that could rival Russia or even the US. NASA's laser-powered spacecraft aims to reach Mars in 72 hours. NASA scientist Philip Lubin is working on perfecting laser technology that could propel a light spacecraft to Mars in as little as three days. Photons emitted from excited atoms in a laser have energy and momentum, which forms the basis of laser-based propulsion. Photons are released in a beam from a laser. When photons from a laser array reflect off an object, their energy is translated into a push that's capable of moving objects like a spacecraft. Rather than using a giant laser a la the Death Stars, researchers imagine an array made up of a large number of amplifiers that sync up and act like one big laser. The spacecraft launched with this technology will include a robotic probe and a large reflective sail. The spacecraft will be light because no fuel is needed. And this spacecraft could be accelerated to 30% the speed of light, which was previously unheard of. This technology could produce enough momentum to get a robotic spacecraft to Mars in three days and send a manned shuttle to Mars in a month. Using photonic propulsion, interstellar travel may be possible, and we could get a probe to Earth's nearest star, Alpha Centauri, in as little as 15 years. In comparison, our current technology takes four to eight months to get to Mars. It took 37 years for the Voyager 1 spacecraft to reach the edge of our solar system. Japanese space probe Akatsuki to orbit Venus. The Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency announced that their space probe Akatsuki is set to orbit planet Venus. JAXA, also known as the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, launched the Akatsuki space probe in May of 2010. According to a JAXA press release, the probe performed the necessary engine thrust starting at 8.51 a.m. on Monday to put Akatsuki into Venus's orbit. They want to use the probe to study the atmosphere of Venus, which rotates faster than the planet itself, causing an atmospheric phenomenon called super-rotation. Four thrusters were used in the second attempt to place Akatsuki into elliptical orbit around Venus. The probe will have two years to observe the planet. After the first attempt to orbit Venus failed, Akatsuki orbited the Sun and sustained high temperatures and radiation. It will reportedly take a few days to estimate the orbit, at which time JAXA will confirm and announce the results of the operation. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News.
Philae Comet Lander wakes up, contacts Earth after seven months of silence. The Philae Comet Lander that lost contact with Earth after landing on a comet seven months ago has woken up and is communicating with Earth. The Philae probe landed on Comet 67P in mid-November 2014, but ran out of power shortly afterwards as its solar panels could not pick up enough sunlight after it landed in the shadow of a cliff. As the comet 67P approaches the sun, Philae's solar panels were able to absorb enough sunlight to restart communications with the Rosetta probe that has been orbiting the comet. A signal from Philae was picked up on Saturday night and it continued for 85 seconds. Comet 67P is currently 205 million kilometers from the sun. It will be at its nearest point to the sun in August. The comet is expected to become more active and could interfere with Philae's communications with Rosetta as it nears the sun. The mission was originally due to end in September, but the European Space Agency said now it would likely run through 2016.